what is going on YouTube this is the one the only Matthew Ross just met one coming to you again for my mind and heart to your screen so back to the queen how you doing anyways um this will be one of my Q and A videos question and answer you ask and if, I, and if I want to I feel like it I'll answer um today, today today's question for me is from Eden she would like to know, do you feel reality TV has affected black culture in America? Do I feel reality TV has affected black culture in America? Well, I'll say this. Sometimes life imitates art, but other times art imitates life. Meaning like, it all depends on what you're exposed Never to. Never been in jail before in my life. And I'm going on 30 years old. Take that, America. Um, no jail record at all. Um, no kids. Um, don't smoke. Don't drink. Don't do drugs. Don't really want to either. Um, basically, I'm a good kid. Basically. Well, I think so, anyways. I mean, I mean compared to most... Males that I see of my age, skin color, yada yada yada, I'm doing pretty damn good, you know. Um, I'm back in college, no, no no criminal background at all, so I'm doing pretty good for myself. Um, I guess, you know, I can tell that some TV is fake when it comes to reality TV, even more Povich. Like, some of that shit has to be scripted. Like, there must be some writer that's just poisoning our children with bullshit and wretchedness. So, like, ain't no way in the world could so many people raise their children to be so ratchet. I mean, like, I mean, I was brought up pretty old school. And even back then, I was nice, reserved. I mean, even though I dress how I wanted, walk, talk, act how, how, how I wanted, and I still walk, talk, act how I want, and do my own damn thing, um, I'm not basic as, by, by any means. I do what I want, wear my hair how I want to, flip, and um, that's being original, you know? So, and I would never in my life dream about being on more for anything. I don't sleep around with, with women or men for that matter. And I don't want any kids right now in my life. I'm my own child. I spoil my damn self. Um, and as far as black culture goes, well, black culture goes, um, it needs help. You know, you have this certain stereotype of the black woman being loud and angry and ratchet and un and uncontrolled and this and that and I'm a strong black woman. I don't, I don't need you. And the black and the black male being um, head of household and being lazy and worthless and this and that. I mean, you are your own being. No matter what color you are, black, white, brown, Indian, whatever, you are your own being. So be your own being. Don't let art live your life for you. And don't let, you know, society tell you what you can and cannot do. If you are a white male, black, whatever you, whatever color you have to be or colors you are, if you feel like wearing your hair long, short, straight, bald, whatever, talking proper English or whatever you know just do you it all comes down to just being yourself and just doing you like i do not talk black i do not act black i do not wear my hair like like the average black male at all you know i shop at hot topic i got this chain at hot topic it's cute doesn't come at y'all anyway, it's cute um, it's you know, cute i have always liked long hair so now, now that i'm grown i have long hair so don't let art initiate your life 
that's about it. I don't know what else to say, so, um, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> um, yeah, that's about it, so, peace out, take care, and God bless. Bye.